everyone, my name is Tiff and today I'm going to share with you some of the more common challenges that are faced by both marketers and developers in the era of the headless CMS. Also too, I'm going to share with you some common ways to overcome these challenges. Before I jump into that though, I thought I would share a little bit about myself. I am a developer advocate here at Stackbit and for those of you who might not be as familiar with Stackbit, we sometimes refer to ourselves as the head in headless. For marketers, we provide a visual editor to edit content in real time, create new pages quickly, and also work collaboratively. Stackbit also allows for developers to work with your preferred tech stack. We're actually tech agnostic. This allows the freedom for you to choose what tech works best for you and your company. I like to think of it as marketers and developers being able to finally get the best of both worlds, which as we know is kind of a rare occurrence. Outside of Stackbit, I am a tech content creator with over 700,000 subscribers across the platform. I focus on creating content around getting into tech, tech careers, some coding tutorials, and also too about future tech. That's a lot of tech. <laughs> More importantly though, I have two dogs, Dirty Harry and Mr. Muggs. They are the best employees of someone who works remotely to have. All right, let's dive into my talk. As many of us know, headless CMS has really gained popularity thanks to its speed, efficiency, and flexibility. But with that also comes some challenges that need to be solved. Actually, you know who struggles with this a lot? These people. Hey Grace, what's going on boss? <sighs> Will you make the button on the home page? Blue. Sure thing. And put it in all caps. You know I can. Hey Peggy, can you make the homepage button blue and put it in all caps? Why? Because Grace said so. Okay, but shouldn't we fill out an IT support ticket? No, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Why'd you change the homepage button? Bill said to- Yeah, you changed all the buttons on all the pages. Oh. I fixed it. Thanks, Car- Hey Peggy. Button is done. Well, all right, fantastic. What's this about? The homepage button is blue now. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, can you make it yellow? Oh, what the f One of the main benefits of a headless CMS is the ability to separate your content from your presentation layer. This allows for both developers and marketers to work in the same platform without any constraints. However, this can often create some friction as marketers oftentimes struggle to visualize their final output. They're there editing content, updating content, but they don't have that visual aspect immediately to see their changes. And to overcome this challenge, it's so essential for both marketers and developers to have a tool that allows them to really collaborate together. Being able to provide a user-friendly interface for the marketers while enabling developers to continue to work with whatever tech stack they prefer, focusing on large features versus spending their time updating content and interacting with the marketing team. Let me show you an example of how we can do this with Stackbit. In this example, I'm using Stackbit. And as I already mentioned, it allows for marketers to have a visual editor that they can utilize while developers can work with their preferred tech stack. Marketers can come in, add a new page, save and reuse components, and make changes on their own immediately. This also reduces the amount of tickets that are created. If you are a developer or even marketer in the audience, you know this can pile up quickly. Actually, speaking of that, these people know that too. Hey Peggy, what do you need? I just submitted a ticket for content change. Sounds important. It is, and there's over 400 tickets in front of mine. That seems about right. Is there a problem? Well, how long will that take? We usually close about 200 per week, so two weeks. Are you serious? Yes, and if you'll excuse me, I have tickets to close. Will you do mine? Two weeks, Peggy. Using a headless CMS provides a range of benefits for developers. First off, it offers much more flexibility and choices when it comes to choosing between front-end frameworks to use and other technologies. Also too, it can provide for much easier content distribution when we think of apps, websites, uh, iPhone watches, Apple watches, and the list continues. Being able to improve and customize the user experience based on whatever platform they are on. However, it still brings up the topic that many developers face, which is spending too much time updating and working on content instead of building out new features. And as we know, oftentimes when you are working on a team, trying to find a tool that satisfies both marketers' needs and wants, and then also to developers' needs and wants can kind of feel impossible. Oftentimes what ends up happening is both teams end up settling. Settling on a tool that kind of works for marketers, kind of works for developers, and they just meet in the middle.
All right, so as you can see on screen here, I have a website that is using both Stackbit and Strapi. And this website is running locally, but it doesn't look like your average local uh, development site running thanks to the power of Stackbit. And before we get into Stackbit and uh, a bit more into this site, I wanna share with you where this content is coming from. So I'm going to open up my second tab here, which is Strapi. And in Strapi here, you can see I have created four collection types, menu, pages, person, and user. And for this demo, I'll mainly primarily be focusing on user um, and starting by creating a new entry. One thing I really want to do in this demo is share with you, actually, if I go back to screen here and go down, share with you here how to easily uh, create new content and then modify it and uh, bring it into Stackbit. So there's two ways that this can be done really. One, it's a two-way sync. So you can create the content directly within uh, Strapi or add new entries, and then it will come up immediately into Stackbit. Or we could also do it where we create it right in Stackbit and it will be reflected into Strapi. So a two-way sync. While I am inside this collection type person, I'm going to create a new entry. Uh, the goal is to create a new team member. So Let's say Joan Peterson, it's my mom's name. Um, and let's give her a product manager. I'm also gonna add in a bit of a bio. I, I like to empower people to build. All right, perfect. Save this here, publish. Now, if we go back, we can scroll down and see we have it here, Joan Peterson. If I scroll down to meet the team, so I'm going to add in this new team member, Joan, uh, and there's two ways that I can do this. Now, one way I could do this is actually save an existing card. Uh, so for example, this individual here, save it as a preset. And from there, I can create a new card that will have the same style, same everything. For this example, I'm not going to do that though, because I want to show you a bit more about the unique styling that you can add. So I'm going to go add people existing. See Joan Peterson here, add. Now, of course it looks a bit different because there is no uh, styling, styling added to it, which I will add, but first let's add in an image here. So for that, I can go into, I just clicked on the card here, went to edit and then go add image block. And let's add this image here. You can see how simple that was to add in a new card for if a content creator or marketer was to come in and make those changes. And kind of going back to the two-way sync, I wanna share with you here. So say right now it's Joan Peterson. Uh, say we wanna make this, let's make this Barb, different name here. And then if we go into Strappy and refresh here, we will see we have Barb Peterson as well. Earlier we went through how Stackbit can really enable marketers to work in their preferred environments with visual editing, creating new pages, updating content. Now let's take a look how Stackbit can also enable developers to work in their preferred tech stack and build faster. As you can see here in my code base, all you need to do as a developer to get started is install the CLI and then add a simple config file with your environment variables to whatever content source you are working with. With these two simple steps, you've unlocked so much possibility for your marketers to be able to have more freedom, flexibility, while you can focus on bigger tasks. I really hope the main things that you take away from this lightning talk is two things. The first one being that there doesn't need to be so much friction between your marketing team and developer team. As a software developer, I remember spending so much time sending screenshots of content I was updating to different designers or marketers, and then I would spend time waiting to hear back from them. This doesn't need to be the case. You just need to find a tool that is right for you. The other thing I really hope you take away is this notion that when you find a tool, you have to alter your tech stack for it to work best for you and your company. There are tools out there like Stackbit where you don't need to alter your tech stack. You can continue working as you are and just enhance that. All right, thank you for watching my talk. I hope you found it valuable. If you have any questions around headless CMSs or Stackbit, let me know. Thanks everyone.